Good morning, everybody. I sound like my mom. My mom, whenever she like calls people on the phone, um, like if she's making an appointment and if it's like the morning or the afternoon, she's like, good morning. I am, she's so funny. Um, anyway, so I am, it is not that early, but I like to sleep in on Saturday because it's Saturday. My sister is coming down here. She lives up at Oceanside. Actually, like, I really need to, like, clean my house so bad, like, beyond. And I did get some packages in I wanted to open up with you guys. It's actually just, like, Amazon. I ordered, like, a bunch of, like, organizing stuff. And then yesterday I had my Simply Lux come out, which they're basically, like, a home organizing company and they do all sorts of stuff they'll like help you like move and like move into your new house so that everything's like organized really well they're just like great and so i've had them here uh this will be the third time i had them yesterday and they did my garage which was amazing like i cannot get over it you guys the garage has definitely made the biggest impact like on my person because i don't know what it is but there's something about a garage especially if you have like a garage you have to park in there's nothing like more annoying than pulling into your garage and just seeing like an entire shit show <laughs> everything everywhere and um i personally was really scared of organizing my garage just because like i am really not okay with like critters and like cockroaches and things like that it, like freaks me out with the garage i had um everything was like super just like scary anyway so simply Lux like pulled through they're not sponsoring today's video or anything but i just wanted to like let you guys know because i am going to show you guys my garage i woke up this morning this is sophie hi soph um and i went to sit on my couch and i felt something wet and I have blankets all over my couch, okay? And I was like, what the fuck am I sitting on right now? And I lift up the blanket and there is a, this is what was under the blanket. Do you guys see that circle? That yellow circle? That is pee. My dog peed on my sofa. And I'm so mad. I don't know why she decided to do that. I don't remember us getting into any argument yesterday, so I don't really know why she's retaliating um, by pissing on my sofa. That's like the one place. Like, you pee on the carpet, like that's one thing, but like my sofa? We have to go to therapy, Sophie, because like I don't know what I did to deserve this, but this is so not okay. Thankfully, my um, sofa, we can pull off the covers and wash them. But like, oh my God, I had to do that. I actually cleaned my sofa the other day. So like the fact that I have to do this all over again, and it's not like it's the easiest thing to clean the sofa. Like, have you ever tried to put like a sofa cushion back into its cover? It is a task, okay? It takes a lot of brain, like a lot of muscle work and everything like that. Anyway, so I wanted to also update you guys because my, because my sister's coming here, we may or may not attempt to start working on the breakfast nook, which um, I'll show you guys, hang on. You guys see, yes, my house is very messy right now. Just ignore it, okay? So we're actually gonna revamp this whole area because it's a very, very tiny space. My daughter and I, we usually just sit here when we eat. I know, it's a mess, um, but this area has become like where she does like her crafts and stuff. Like this is like all her basically. You can't really fit a dining table in here. It's really hard to like figure this situation out cause it's really small. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like, it's really small. I saw this idea and this person had bought this like L shaped bench, which I think like if there's a bench, it, there's also storage in the bench too. So we can put like everything in the bench, which will be great. And then we'll have a table. This table's gonna go, and I'm just gonna get a round table that can actually 
be a lot bigger than what I usually would get in here because of the breakfast nook you can kind of push the table closer because you have a bench you know what I mean I want it to feel way more welcoming obviously it's like very sterile it's just not very inviting like nobody ever wants to go over here I definitely don't I feel weird going in there so I'm gonna sell the table and that and then we're gonna clear out this whole thing the picture's gonna move everything's gonna move and I want to warm it up because it's very like white here. Maybe do like a wallpaper either here or on this side. I'm thinking on this side and then maybe changing the light fixture. I don't know yet. Like I'm still trying to figure it out. So I got the breakfast nook in yesterday. I have to build it really heavy. I don't know how I'm going to carry it. So we shall see. I don't know. But anyway. Okay. So I'm going to... I changed it on a different setting also if you can hear my washing machine it's just it's so loud I don't know what to do but I have to do laundry it's just a must so I wanted to show you guys some things that I got from Amazon um, I finally purchased these like acrylic trays that I feel like everybody on TikTok has on their bathroom but it just there's less clutter when things are off like the countertops and stuff. Really just wanna like keep everything, just keep it clean, just like soap and like the bare essentials sitting there and then all the skincare, which takes up all like basically all like the bathroom and makes it feel really cluttered. But if I put it on the wall, I feel like it'll feel way better. And every time I see it on like people's um, Instagrams or like on their TikToks, I always feel like it looks so good. And then I bought this, which is the, this like power strip with USB ports. So basically this is, a an extension cord nothing is more annoying to me than like trying to like charge your phone or have things charging and a you don't have enough sockets or it's just too short so this is like long and then this hub has all of these and it has uh, usb ports as well and then i saw this girl what she did she commanded stripped this to the side of her nightstand and so that way everything like just was able to reach her bed and i just think it's a lot easier and honestly kind of genius so i'm gonna do that and then amazon i got some organizing things here oh okay so i got this organizing lid container which should help organize my um tupperware lids and stuff like that so that'll be really nice and they come with like dividers uh, so i can keep that nice and tidy so i'm gonna decide to use that so this is for i got this one this is a uh, this is basically for your racks is where I keep like cutting boards baking sheets and stuff like that but it, they always move around because they're just like leaned up against the side of the wall so every time I go in to grab something they always slip out so I was like I need like a like an organizer or something like this these are more bins I ordered more of these like snack bins so um, these are really helpful and I like these because look they have like little organized they're like organized so i even think this might be really nice to use caddy that i pull out underneath where i do like all my makeup and so when i'm filming i can kind of just like roll it over and all my extra brushes like skincare uh makeup that i might need to grab is all like there so this is going to be i'm going to use this instead actually so this comes with four of them and i think it was like 20 $20 or something but some of the ways that I've seen people use this um, or that I saw on Amazon was like they put their like snacks which I'm also gonna try using this in the fridge for like the applesauce and like um, the like little bar like peanut butter fridge bars that I have 
um, for my kid to try to keep things as organized as possible. So we have till about like one. At one, I'm gonna go over to the mall with my sister. We have an appointment at Cartier and my essay is actually out of town right now. So she set me up with someone else. Um, but I'm thinking about getting another love ring. I think I would get one more of this ring just to stack. Um, or I was also thinking about the cuff, the love cuff that they have because I was thinking about getting it. I don't know. I want to try it on. I'm going in open-minded. We shall see. I'll take you guys with me. I'll try to film. If they have me in like a room, which they usually put me in, then I can film. But if I'm just like out on the show, on the floor, like just sitting at a thing, like usually they don't let you film. But anyway, let's do the pantry really quick. Throw away all of that stuff in the back. It's all expired. Um, it's like literally from like 2020. Much better. Okay. And what is this? Oh, that fits like the gloves. You like it on that finger, though? Yeah. Okay. Do you vlog? Yeah. So be careful not to share your serial numbers. Oh, okay. Because okay. people will try to steal them from your box. <laughs> and your really? serial numbers tied to like your jewelry. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know yeah. that's a thing. Um, ours are mostly watches. There's a lot of big watches. Yeah. More than jewelry. Mm, got it. Yeah. Got it. Thank you for letting yeah, us know. Yeah, absolutely. I would have not known that. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> Protect them. You're fine. You're fine. It's so pretty. Sisters. Sisters. Yeah, and everything. I feel like you want to wear it now. I think I want to wear it now. Yeah. She'll, she'll wear it right now. I can just now. throw this one in the trash. Okay, put it on. Are you going to put it on? Do you love? It's mine. It's yours. It's so pretty. Thank you. Yes, you're Aww. very welcome. You're so welcome. You're not getting a birthday present. <laughs> This is it. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Say birthday soon. August, yeah. Happy. Person, place, thing. Noun is a uh, oh. Person, place, or thing. And then a. Do you know what a pro yeah? You know what a pronoun is. Everyone knows a pronoun. Is. That's possessive, right? A possessive noun. Yeah. No. A pronoun? Oh, that's like they, them, she, he. I know that now. Yeah, I think everybody knows that. Like my pronouns are listed on my um, email signature. Oh, I thought like on your Instagram. I was like, what? No, my email signature for work. I'm not used to that. Hey guys, so I left my camera in my car downstairs and I'm just like too lazy to go all the way down there to get it. So I'm going to film on my phone, but I just got home um, about 20 minutes ago. My sister just left. She had to go check on her dog. So there's that. So we went to um, the mall and we did a little bit of shopping. We did go to Cartier because my sister has been wanting to go there to uh, try a watch she just needed to make sure she had like the right size and the right one that she liked um sorry this like angle is really awkward because like my coffee table is like jammed up on me she really wanted to look at some of the rings so we were trying on rings and I like got her size and everything and then at the end of it as she was trying it on I should have recorded this. I feel so dumb. But like I told her, I was like, okay, is this the ring you want? And she was like, yeah. 
And I was like, okay, because I'm going to get the mini one to stack on top, which is this one that I got right here. You could see it's like so much shinier and like prettier than my the one down here. And so I told her, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get it for you because like we're sisters and I've always wanted to like have like a sister, like something very sentimental for the both of us. And, um, you know, like my sister is like my best friend. So we do pretty much everything together. So I wanted to kind of spoil her in that regard. I've always wanted to. So we got matching rings. She actually got the thicker one, um, which she really wanted. I'll post a picture. You guys would have seen by now, but I was like trying um, to like record some of it while I was in there just cause, um, they don't really like it when you vlog in there. And I, I got some shots and stuff like that. You guys would have seen it by now, but like, uh, the actual reaction, like I had two essays on me, like right in front of me and I couldn't like whip out my phone cause I just didn't want to do that. So, um, or like just be put in a situation where they'd be like, sorry, you can't record in here. Um, anyway, so yeah, we ended up getting matching rings and we wore them out. She really wanted to wear them. So I was like, okay, let's wear them out together. And so this is like the the bag and everything. And I asked them to put it in a white bag because we were going to lunch after. But I did stop at Sephora and my sister and I picked up a bunch of stuff. I posted on Instagram that I went in and I got so many messages from you guys being like, will you do a haul? Um, so I share it on TikTok, but if you haven't seen, I'll share it with you guys here. Um, so the first thing I got was the Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. I have been wanting to try a new facial cleanser, and I actually saw um, Hailey Bieber talk about this in one of her, like, uh, get, get ready with me to go to bed. Like, she was taking off her makeup, and she was using this one, the squalene cleanser. So I wanted to try it and it was really well priced. Um, Ordinary is like not expensive. So I really like that and they have like good quality products. So I picked up a restock of the fine to medium whey treatment mask. This is my favorite mask ever. It's so good. Um, I have so many different masks in my shower right now, but this one, like I always end up going back to, it's amazing. So picked up another one. I got the airbrush flawless setting spray. Um, and I got it in the full size. The only times I've been able to restock on this is when they've had it in mini sizes and I go through those so fast. So I finally got a big bottle of it. Finally, I wish they made like an even bigger bottle than this, but I was able to get it. I was really happy. I was like surprised that I was able to get like my hands on some of these things. I definitely did not think that was going to happen because we went to Fashion Valley and I feel like there was no, I know for a fact there was like a million people there. Okay, and then I got these two. This is what I mainly went in there for was because I was getting so many um, questions like whether or not I've tried the new Mario um, bronzing powders or whatever it's called. So this one is a soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer. And I got mine in medium dark, which is supposed to be their like basically like cream bronzer. It looks so pretty and I've heard amazing things. Why is it opening? And I've heard amazing things. So I got mine in medium dark. Medium looked a little too light for me, especially right now. I'm so tan. <laughs> um, and then I got medium. Uh, oh, sorry. I got the soft sculpt, soft, soft sculpt transforming skin perfector in medium. And this is basically like a powder. It looks shimmery when you look at it. It has like a gradient to it, but apparently it's something you apply like all over the face and I'm just really excited to try this. It looks so good. Then I got this. I'm always looking for a good um, sunscreen and I got this one. This one is from Shiseido. It's the Urban Environment Sundial Care Fresh Moisture with Hyaluronic Acid and it has SPF 42 and it was really hydrating when I tried it and it went on clear. So um, I'm really excited to try this one. This has 50 ml. It's not cheap, this brand, but I know that their sunscreens are really good. So I wanted to get it because I am always in need of sunscreen. I like the Lancome one I use a lot of the time. See how it's clear? Oh, it smells so good. And it's really like hydrating. So I feel like this is going to be a really great one to layer on top of my skincare because so hot these days and then I got the ordinary multi-peptide lash and brow serum I've been hearing 
amazing things about this. So I picked it up. I was also surprised this was in stock. Um, and this also was pretty inexpensive for being a lash serum. I'm telling you, Ordinary is like killing it right now. And then I got, uh, oh, I got this. This is so pretty. This lip liner from um, Anastasia. It's in this shade Sandstone. When I swatched it, I was like, wow, it's so pretty. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's kind of like this rosy color, rosy brown, but I love it. It's really defining, and I just think it's so pretty. Isn't that nice? I just thought it was stunning, and I like the um, formula of these. They're very, like, they're kind of dry, but they go on with pigment, like, but they don't move. Like, there's some lip liners that they can be really pigmented and nice but if they're too creamy I know that they're gonna like wear off really fast or they're just like not gonna stay put I like a more dry but pigmented consistency I don't know if that makes sense but it feels more like a almost like a crayon of some sort and then I got these last two products I picked up the uh pinch soft pinch blush from rare beauty and i got them in hope they had so many re like of these colors it just looks really pretty and i see girls using this and it i think it'll just be nice for like the everyday just like a nice pink so i'm excited for that and then i got the burrell freeze from anastasia because i am kind of over the refi one i'm using that all the time and i just like want to try something new and so i wanted to get the brow freeze um because this one goes on clear and it's also just like a great product i kind of wish i bought the spoolie and spatula that came with it but i didn't it was right next to it i was gonna buy it but i i was like it's fine i probably have a million other products so i'm very excited to use this and apparently the way you're supposed to use this is supposed to like push it onto your brows and then go in with a spoolie not like a spoolie if that makes sense. So it gives a more laminated effect. So that was it. That's pretty much all I got. Um, still haven't hung up my shelves. I'll show you guys if I end up doing that. Oh, and by the way, we did not build the, um, whatchamacallit, the breakfast bench. It's still in the box downstairs. I think I'm just going to have to wait um, for the right time to do it. I just, it's really, really, really heavy the box to bring up here and I know building it I cannot I probably could do it myself but I really just I don't want to do it by myself you know like it's so boring um so I don't know we'll decide later on in life <laughs> what I want to do with it but I think I might even just like to be honest hire somebody to come do it because they're probably way faster than I would be at it and I really don't want to fight with the person I'm doing it with because I get really frustrated when I build things and um, I kind of like, I don't like lash out, but I get mad. So, so that's it. I think I will show you guys. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit.